Hello and welcome to episode 11 of Random Craft. Since the last episode, I have been moving into my mega base and it has been taking me... Oh, it's been taking me so long. But we have managed to get a fair amount done uh, as long as we ignore through here. Uh, through there, through here is a little bit messy still. So I am organizing all of my shulker boxes and slowly working through all of this mess. Uh, through here, we may do another storage room. Maybe. Maybe. We may do another storage room through here. Um, mostly because we have a lot of block variants. And my current storage system, well, it's not so great at organizing that. So, so far in our organizer, we are organizing our cactus from down below, as well as all of our flowers, as mentioned in the last episode. We're also organizing uh, cobblestone, stone, grass, dirt... Uh, gravel, sand, sandstone, coarse dirt, podzol. Uh, we have oak, spruce, birch, jungle wood, acacia, dark oak, uh, crimson and warped, glass, bone blocks, red sandstone, iron blocks, redstone blocks, slime blocks, and andesite. Oh, and smooth stone. I'm aware they're not in an actual order. Um, th they're enigma ordered. In between the episodes, I also organized a new way up and down, so we can now get to the roof. There we go, this is our now roof access, so we can access our portal. And if we head on down here... This now accesses down below from the forge. Uh, we replaced our old lift through here, our old elevator, with another one of these honey vators. If you're not sure how a honey vator works, honey blocks aren't four blocks. And if you look just diagonally behind them there, there we go, you'll see some salt sand. And that's just got a water stream, so if we stand right in the corner and jump, we get sucked up. But if we just move a couple of pixels, we'll drop down. Now, I hadn't used these that much, uh, but a good YouTuber friend of mine, Sir Durple, uh, link will be down, down there. Yeah, yeah, down there. Uh, he, he uses these, and I saw them on his, and I thought, hmm, I should, I should use those. So this honey beta, this goes up to our main floor. Yep, it's still empty. Sue me. As well as doing a load in here, we have also managed to get some stuff done outside. We have moved our machines over. So our tree ripper and our logging truck have now been moved across from doing their duties. Now that they have removed all of the trees, they have now earned their right to rest. And then down over here, if we head to the lab. Oh, wait a minute. What's this? Why are there- oh no. What the hell is going on? Oh god. Well, um, I've been waiting for that door to do something weird. Uh, we should probably- yeah, we should probably stop that. Um, yeah, we should probably really go and stop this. How do I stop this? I'm gonna need some scaffolding. Uh, let's go get some scaffolding very quickly. Okay, let's, um, let's get up there and get rid of this. At least it seems to have stopped throwing eggs out. Okay, let's, um, let's go get rid of this door. I think I have some plans. Hmm. Well, it doesn't seem to be, it doesn't seem to be doing anything now. I think I actually have some plans for this door. So let's, uh, let's take it down and do some experiments on it. Okay, nothing happened, we're safe. Oh, we are gonna have to get rid of all of these chickens. <sighs> okay. Um, <clears throat> I'll be right back. 
This didn't happen. You saw nothing. Okay. So, over here, we're going to build a new thing. I know, I know, we've not finished up there yet, but uh, we need somewhere to put this door. And I know just the build, just the build to do it. So, um, so let's take this door and, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's get building. My calculations are correct. When this baby hits 80 miles per hour, you're going to see some serious shit. There we go, we have a new addition. Uh, I'm not sure what to call him. Big Bot? Yeah, I think Big Bot. So let's take a little look inside Big Bot and see what I've done. Oh, before we go up, I did move the Crab Bot. He's now over there uh, because he looked a little bit too small <laughs> when in front of uh, Big Bot here. So underneath Big Bot, we have a little teleportation area that will suck us up into the inside. So if we stand in here there we go and this is our room we have our little r bots over there and we have all of our science equipment and a station i need to put this door in place and we need to figure out exactly how to harness the power of the teleportation door so let's just uh pop this down uh i think somewhere around there perfect perfect um, hmm. It doesn't seem to do anything. I think, uh... Oh, okay. Ah, so we need to put something in here. Oh, okay, so we need to put some sort of crystal in here. Hmm. Well, I think I know what I can put in there. I've been working... Okay, let's head over to the lab, uh, and I can show you... I think I know what we can do. So, down in the lab, I have been working on trying to synthesize a Chronos stone. Or gem. It, I mean, a gem is technically a type of stone, right? I think. I need to make a Chronos gem, and I think the only way of doing it is probably by harnessing the power of something that can teleport. And we have a farm that kills things that can teleport. And they drop things that teleport. So let's head over to the Enderman XP farm. Get ourselves some lovely Enderman pearls. Enderman pearls? Ender pearls. Yes, I think that's what they're called. And fuel this machine. And hopefully we can get ourselves some sort of time jumping gem. Ooh. Oh, well it appears that another random may have done most of our job for us. Let's just, uh, nom nom nom. 
I think that's going to be an offender pose. Thank you, random, whoever you are. That saved me uh, quite the job. Well, let's take these back to Entech headquarters and let's get this Kronos gem synthesized. Or stone. Okay, let's power this up. And stick these in there. I think that's going to be enough. Yep, it's feeding in. Hmm. You know, I think this might take a while. I've heard from little birdie that I've made sales over at Entech, so we should go, we should go over to the shopping district, because we've not done that yet. Bum, 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 ba -dum. Into the portal we go. Steve? Steve? How are you both? Oh. Um. So what are you doing there? Um. Apparently, we have a new Steve. You know, I'm starting to think that Steve is playing a trick on me. There's way too much stuff called Steve around here. Well, we'll deal with that later. For now, let's head over to the shopping district. I suppose we'll check the map. Yep. Yep. Uh, our businesses still aren't on there. I think we might just have to add them ourselves. Okay, let's go check Entech. I see the van is still missing. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, there's a lot of things that have gone on over here. We have some smoke there and some smoke there. Now, uh, let's have a little look at this, because this must be a new shop. Um. No sign. Oh, die. Ah, it's a die shop. Hello, good sir. All die is one diamond per stack. That seems reasonable. Well, whilst we're here, we may as well buy some light blue dye. Oh. There is no light blue dye. Well, you could have had a sale. If you'd have stocked what I needed. I do like this shop, though. The sound of the crackling fire is... Soothing. Who doesn't like fire? I like the fish tank as well. Needs fish. Please, please add... A fish. Uh, that's Peanuts Egg Shop. I can hear chickens. I don't like chickens. They may. They may be taking over rabbits. Maybe they are rabbits. Let's check and tech. Well, we have. Oh, what's this? Zeph's wallet. Uh, Zeph, buddy, you appear to have left your uh, shulker box in here with all of your diamonds. Now, if I was one of the other randoms, I would steal this. But Zeph is my space friend, and um, I'm not going to steal this. So, I'll get I'll get one of the end tech drones to re-deliver it to him. Uh. Yeah, we'll leave that there. We'll get one of the Antec drones to deliver it. Uh, okay, well, I don't see. Oh, there we go. Two diamonds. Four diamonds. Oh. Well, let's uh, change that into thing. 23 diamonds. And some sales on beacons. 50 diamonds. No, no, 54, 54 diamonds, is that it? Yeah, 54, that's a lot of diamond sales. We'll just put those in there. Uh, we'll leave that there, we'll get one of the drones to come and deal with that. I am curious what happened to Lag's, to Lag's fan. We still have fish. Oh, I never checked. Never check this smoke. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. Well, this doesn't seem like it was successful. Whatever it was. Lag buddy, you appear to have crashed your van. Don't worry. I will have a drone come over and deal with that as well. I mean, we're not going to waste metal. 
Okay, let's call the drones. And we need a drone to deal with Zeph and a drone to deal with Lag. Should be easy enough. Yes, hello. Drone one? Yes. Um, yeah, lost and found for Entech and uh, send salvage bot over. We... No, salvage bot. We don't have a salvage bot? We'll take Eggbot and salvage him into a salvage bot. And then, uh, yeah, uh, I found... I found where Lag's van went. Yeah. Uh-huh. Excellent. Thank you very much. Bye! Okay, that's that dealt with. Now let's head over to the minigames district, finally. And let's finish that minigame. Wait a minute, I can't show you any of this. Yeah, I can't show you how that works. That'll give away the game. But, look at what I've done. This is our game, Phobia. I'll give you a little tour. So here's our sign, our entrance, and if we go up the path here, we start slowly converting and corrupting the land with our creepy enigma. And inside we have our ender chest and our place three diamonds here when ready, and an area that says read the rules. So let's go through the rules real quick. Welcome to Phobia. Enter the brain of the mad scientist, traverse the neurotic pathways, and try to find your way to safety. Be warned though, you may just find yourself dying to win. Ensure that you read. The rules place three diamonds into the payment chest. Remove your inventory and gear and put them into the chest. Ensure you bind to the bed. Enter the game door and drop down to begin. Without punching or removing anything, try to find your way to the end and overcome the phobias. Push the button once at the end to receive a random reward in plushies. Throw the plushies into the plushie exchange machine. Terms of service. Misuse of phobia or any of the Antec games will not result in compensation. It is your duty to ensure that you have read and understand the rules. Do not enter with any items. They may be destroyed. Are you listening, randoms? Don't use this with your gear. I'm really enjoying the minigames district. I'm looking forward to the rest of the randoms making more of them. But for now, let's head back to Entake headquarters and see if our Kronos gem is finally done. Aha! There we go. One Kronos gem. Uh, we should probably use the pick. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Now let's go put this into the new machine. Ooh. Ah. Hey, look, 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 look. Look, Arbat. I have managed to get one. Okay, let's, uh, let's put this into the machine. Oh, we need to seal it off. Uh, okay. And ah, oh well, that's a that's a somewhat good sound. Let's um, I think down down. I think he says down. Okay, okay, and push that button, and hopefully, hopefully that'll do it. Okay, yes, it's working. The lights are on. We're powered up. Yes, we are ready to go. Let's go to Lag Monsters. Three, two, one. Oh, where the hell am I? This doesn't seem right. Oh, this looks familiar. Oh, God, wait a minute. I, I remember this exactly. Okay, I think I got him. Well, this, this is not where I was after. Um, well, I guess we'll, uh, <clears throat> try this again. Oh, Jesus. Oh, but you never said that that would send me back in time. With the, with the red crystal. The red crystal sends you back in time. Well, thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Damn it. Just, literally no point in that. I don't want to go back in time. I'm trying to get from A to B. A different crystal. 
Yeah, you're you're some help. Yeah, thanks. Oh, and the arrow, the arrow's upside down. Thanks. Jesus. Right, there we go. Arrow's the right way up. And I need a crystal. A certain sorcerer might be able to help me out with a crystal. Well, you're not helping, are you, Arbot? You're useless. Absolutely useless. All right, let's go see the lag monster and see if he can sort me out with a new energy crystal. One that doesn't send me back in time. Oh my god, lag, look out. That's okay, that's okay, I'm fine. Hello. Uh, hi. Um, what happened? You, my, my man, you have a lot of boats on the floor. Oh, yeah, so I took down the launcher, and apparently some of them were buried under the ground. No, well, it's a good thing. Those launchers aren't safe. Um, look, now, before you start oh, denying... Oh, they'll get rebuilt. <laughs> well, I, I should hope so. Uh, we don't care for safety around here. Those, um, look, I, you're going to deny it, and I know you're probably going to deny it, but I know you've been messing around with crystals. So, uh, look, uh, I, I don't care. Clearly, I don't care. But I don't... I, um, I don't... I don't know what you're talking about, but go on. Uh, I, I need I need a crystal, um, and then one that gives a lot of energy. I don't. It doesn't really matter. I'm not. I don't care about the color. If it's purple, blue, green, pink, orange, white, black. Don't care. Just need one. I will pay you. I mean, all right. Come on. I knew he, I knew you were the right man to come and see. I'll go spreading that around. I mean, I am the right it's, man to come, but... I'll keep it under my box. Um. Ah, there we go. That's right, I figured that out. Fine. No instructions I would hope required. you would. But my science is not... Magic is not nearly as good as your science. Well, uh, I'm... Sci wait. Mm -hmm. It's different. I agree. It's different. No, no, I, I agree. Uh, let's just... Uh, <laughs> let's come with this. I, I have... I have time I, I need to fix. What? Nothing. <clears throat> I have... Whoa, you've got one of these as well. Uh, this is my one. Oh, yours yours doesn't have anywhere near as much fun in it as mine. Um, that's that's just a junk box. But it's All blue right, and see. pretty. Oh, well, yeah, but... Okay, let's see what I got here. All right. Uh, my one is blue because it matches my eyes. Um, let's see here. What? Nothing. All right, so um, I do have a few varieties. I don't know what would work the best for you. Uh, oh, you probably don't want to touch that one. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. You've already, you've already felt the effects of that one before. Um, oh yeah, I probably. Yeah, no, no more rabbits, sorcerer. And you can keep those carrots away from me. But they're delicious. Mm -hmm. All right, so I have. Um... Well, that's not right. All right, so I guess I really only have one variety. Um, okay, I'm fine with I had, one. I had, I had others, but I just don't think they're going to suit your purposes. Uh, try that guy. Oh yeah, that seems good. Yep, power crystal. Uh, that 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 seems that seems perfect. Well, um, don't say don't say I don't pay for things. Uh, uh, are you? Sh that's a lot. Are you sure? I, I mean. <clears throat> I can get more in no time. Uh, this... Did, did, did you do this? N no. Um, so this... I have taken that same flower down two or three times, and it just doesn't want to go away. It just keeps growing back, which is unusual considering that they don't grow in this part of the world. Yep, yep. I, I, I agree. Uh, I have one as well at, at my base. Inside my mountain, I have used industrial weed killer on it. I have tried blasting it into another dimension, and it just keeps reappearing. Um, I think you don't think any of those methods are a bit extreme. I mean, you can just you can just do that. Yes, but then I still have a flower. Do I look like oh. the sort of man who wants a flower? I mean, I don't know. I just put it back now because I figure it's just going to be there anyway. Stop trying to give me the flower. I look. There's there's one of these at the gaming district as well. There is just just randomly there, and I'm starting to think 
that we may have some sort of phantom florist. Uh, I can't decide if that's a thing to be frightened of or just perplexed. This is random craft. It's something to be frightened of. Ah, uh, fair enough. Fair no enough. Nothing ever happens that's nice around here. Let's get rid of that. Screw that flower. So, uh, it, through, through here. Oh, I've been doing some renovations. Uh, so, so do be careful. Um, nothing, nothing should kill you. I don't... That, that's not inspiring much confidence. What is this labyrinth you have created? Um, yeah, we've been doing some end tech renovations. They're, you know, top secret, but up here. So, the other day, I came back. And, and this, this was just here. It's another tulip. It is. It is. A bright pink tulip. And I've thrown it away. I have cast it into another dimension. I have done so much to try and get rid of it. And it comes back. But you know what else? Along with this tulip was like a thousand rabbits. Just so many. Rabbits? Yeah, just loads of them. Oh, oh, uh, these, these things. What are these? What, are th what is this? It's, it's uh, a, a, a chucken. Oh, and that's a zombie. You know, I've never been totally sure what they are. I know they're chickens, heavy air quotes implied. Chickens, yes. I always get them confused. Rabbits, chickens, anyway. Let's just uh, get rid of that. It was, uh, yeah, thousands of those everywhere. All inside here. And I'm pretty sure, I say pretty sure, I am positive that it was Nimrod. But here's the thing. There was just there was just too many chickens, like. There was too many chickens for one person. So so what you're telling me is that Nimrod came over here and put a bunch of chickens all over your base? Yes. She put loads uh. of chickens all over my base. And I'm yep. pretty sure she had an accomplice. Hmm. I'm I'm pretty sure she had an accomplice. And then it dawned on me. Nimrod and Zeph, they have farms together. So oh, I think I think oh. it was Zeph. It it very well could have been. So one of the things that I'm gonna be doing later on is I think we're gonna get a little bit of payback on Zeph. Nimrod's already she's already had her turn. Um the Entech drones dealt with that, but Zeph What, uh, what Zeph, did you do? Oh nothing, nothing, nothing. I, I just re-delivered them to her. Um but Zeph, Zeph needs, yeah, Zeph's going to pay. And I don't know if he is the cause of this tulip or whether this is somebody else. I mean, it does seem like, and maybe I'm reaching here, but it seems like, seems like they've always been here. Hmm. Yeah. I mean, they don't want to go away. Yeah, you're right. They do seem like they've always been here. I still don't know the way. You live here! Yeah, but I'm not the only one. Wait. Not, not the only one what? The only person that lives here. Aren't you? Well, no. There's Drone 1. There's Drone oh. 2. There's Crab Bot. There's Charles. And, and Big Bot arrived. Um... So, you know. Um, hold on. Get out of, get out of bot earshot here. Aren't, aren't they robots? Well, at least three of them are. Uh, you don't want to go in there. It's, um. It's, uh, for science. Whenever you say something's for science, some things explode or, or actually, you wouldn't like to um assist me with something, would you? Uh, uh it's not going to involve me blowing up, is it? Eighty-seven percent sure it won't. 
I would prefer that to be 100%, but go on. What's the details? Well, I just need someone to push a lever. Uh, I mean, I can push a lever. Yeah, I figured you'd be able to push a lever. Well, uh, let me just let me just go put this um, just in case of an exploit. I'm <clears throat> just in case something goes slightly wrong. I'll uh, I'll just put this away, uh, and then and then we'll um, we'll we'll go into Big Bot, and I can show you what this uh, energy crystal of yours is all about. Ooh. And we'll just uh, okay. Let's just uh, cover that up. Excellent. Yeah, having having to cure Tom taught me a few lessons. Wait, what was wrong with Tom? Oh, he got turned into a witch. And certainly never became any farm animals. It didn't happen. Didn't happen. Anyway. Well, that uh, seems 100% legitimate, and I don't need to pry. Exactly, exactly, see? So, um, uh, uh, give me some, some science words? I don't, I don't know science words. Um, capacitors? Cap uh, capacitors are always good. Capacitor, capac capacitor, fifteen gigawatt. Oh, what's a gigawatt? I have no idea, but our bot says it a lot. Huh. Well, I mean, he mostly says ones and zeros, and I interpret them as gigawatt. It, it could, he could be saying giga chat for all I know. Fair enough. All right, so um, let's see here. Uh, ca capacitor. Uh, 15 gigawatt kapoof. Oh, that's brilliant. That looks way better. Um, okay, you're gonna have to, yeah, you're gonna have to take off anything metallic because, um, well, there's gonna be a lot of power running through here in it. I'm sorry, did you just shed your skin? That's not my skin. Okay, well, I'm not gonna ask questions. Uh, there's going to be a lot of power running through this room, so make sure you take off anything that's metallic. Um, if you're not grounded, uh, you, you, you may you may die. Having said that, um, just uh, come here a moment. Uh, look straight forwards. You know, your horns would fit a battery in between them really well. You could, you could act as a very good... Very good circuit. Um, anyway, uh, <clears throat> for another time, maybe. Uh, so, uh, everything, everything should be powered. Uh, yep, just, uh, pull that lever, and we should be good to go. All right, here, here we go. That... Okay, that noise is completely normal. Don't worry about that noise. Uh, okay. It should be fine. Oh, we're gonna die. One of the two. Okay. Uh, okay. this is reminding me of when I came here. Just, uh, it should be fine. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, crap. No! Enigma? Enigma? Are you okay? Enigma! Enigma!